Hello, today I would like to show you how I modified this car 24 volt heater to use a military battery and to have everything unify across my different devices. My primary use for military battery looks like this. I've got a adapter and the SP13 four pole connector. You can find a review of those connector on my other video and I can use a nickel metal hydride battery or, or a lithium ion. I use the nickel metal hydride everywhere but I've got a, a mobile radio because this is a direct 12 volt battery replacement. The lithium ion is a little bit too high so not everywhere you can use it because that battery fully charged is 16.8 volt and you can blow your expensive radio with this if it's not designed. So I've got this cable that I can make it like this. I can screw it here and here going through the fuse I've got a 12 volt If we grab the meter, let's go to the DC and let me probe it and we should get a steady, as you can see 14 volts, it's fresh from the charger and this is our 12 volt nominal. But over here I've got a 24 volt car heater and this makes a lot of sense because the higher voltage is going to deliver much more power at the same current and boil our water faster. But the question is how we can pull a 24 volt from the system as you can see we've got a 12 volt at the end and the magic of those military battery is that they've got a two strings of 12 volt and your personal decision is going to be what do you want to do with it and in the plug in the in the mail plug i'm making a decision do i want to rewire the battery in parallel and I've got 12 volt or if I want 24 volt. So this is the the heater. I cut the plug that was designed to be operate in the car. This is not finished one. I added a inline fuse. If we open this you will be able to see that I did it myself. We've got a inline fuse as a protection. This is not ready. I didn't put a silicone to protect everything and make it watertight. This is where the magic is happening. As you can see, I have not put any silicone to protect and make it watertight, just so you can see what I did here. And I made a jumper between pin two and three. And this is the, the jumper. And it's making a 24 volt of, out of those two strings inside the battery. So we are tapping 24 volts and you will be able to see that in second because I'm going to probe it. Let's try to do some basic measurement. We've got our cup of water. We've got our car 24 volt heater and I'm just going to stuff it in. We've got a digital thermometer. We are reading a 20 volt and that's something that we've got in my room close enough i'm going to stick our probe 
and we are going to connect. I'm going to use the lithium ion since it's have a higher voltage and slightly more amount of current and I'm going to plug it and it's working, it's boiling. We can start from confirming that we've got a 24 volt, not a 12. And you can see that we've got a 29 volts when it's fully charged. And we've got a 10 amp flowing. Let me make sure we are zero. Nine point seven amp. Let's do a small calculation. Nine point seven times twenty nine volt. That what what we were reading a couple seconds ago. I'm pretty sure it dropped, but we've got a almost three hundred watts going into our teacup. So it is a pretty nice amount of power. As you can see it being steady deliver. We can try to see how much does it drop. We've got a 28 volt point three. So pretty nice amount of power. You can clearly see how nicely it's boiling. And it's making a really lot of sense to use a 24 volt application absolutely no problem we can swap into the nickel metal hydrate and we should see exactly the same let's take a look at the current here should be lower because of the lower voltage go to dc zero and clamp on our one wire and we've got a lower as expected 8 amp and we can check the voltage we can read a 24 volts so as you can see it's working absolutely great as you can see we've got almost 100 celsius degree in a very short period of time so in my personal opinion that's a absolutely great way to do much faster than a 12 volt we've got a much more power possible to be delivered i can clearly feel the wire is warm so we've got some loss in the resistance of the wire but it's working absolutely great so definitely 24 volts appliance can be nicely run from a military battery but with a absolutely simple wiring trick you can fall back into 12 volts so thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye and we've got a nice tea. That's how you do it.